You're familiar with Word documents containing lots of text, Excel worksheets containing lots of numbers and data, and slide decks filled with bulleted lists. In the 2007 Office system, you can add visual appeal to all those words and numbers with smart art graphics like this one, or this one. I'll show you how it works. I'm creating a PowerPoint presentation where I'll have to convey a lot of fairly dry information. To liven up the look of my slide deck and make concepts easier for my audience to understand, I'm going to use smart art graphics. I'll add the first graphic to this slide. I select the text box. Then, on the Insert tab, I click Smart Art. The gallery contains sample smart art layouts. As I click each layout, a sample image and suggestions for using the layout appears. I'll see how this one works. When creating a smart art graphic, I get the text the way I want it first. Then, I work on the graphic itself. I could add or change text by typing directly in a shape, but it's easier to use the text pane, especially if a slide has a lot of text. I type the first bullet text. Then press the down arrow and then the tab key to add a bullet under May, June. As I type, the text sizes automatically to fit in the shape. Other parts of the graphic may also resize to balance the overall look of the slide. After entering text for the third bullet, I press Enter and Backspace. Notice that when I add the new bullet in the text pane, a new shape is added and all of the shapes are automatically resized. To add bullet points under September, I press Enter and Tab. The text is just the way I want it. But now that I see what the words look like on the slide, it's clear that I need a different layout, one that shows progress over time. With smart art graphics, you can experiment as much as you want with different formats and styles. It's easy. Notice that while I have the graphics selected, a set of tabs displays for working with smart art graphics. On the Smart Art Tools Design tab, in the Layouts group, I click the More button. I could choose from this list, but I need more layouts. To see layouts that show progress over time, I select the Process category. Notice that the layout options in this area change to show process layouts. This one looks interesting. The layout seems to work pretty well with the text. But if I change my mind later, I can always try a different layout. Next, I'll add some formatting. On the Smart Art Tools Design tab, I'll add a Smart Art Style. This is nice. I can preview how my graphic will look with a style before applying it. This one adds graduated colors. But this one also adds a 3D effect. I like that. I'll also click Change Colors and choose a different color combination. The changes I've been making so far apply to the whole graphic, but I can also change shapes individually. For example, I want to add something to highlight the May-June events. I select the shapes, and then on the Smart Art Tools Format tab, I look around for some ideas in the Shape Effects Gallery. I think I'll try a glow effect. That looks okay. But, you know, now that I look at the whole graphic, I think the layout needs to be bolder. I'll go back to the Layout Gallery on the Smart Art Tools Design tab and look around some more. I like this big arrow. That's much better. I think I'll make the May-June shape a little wider because it covers two months. After the slide layout looks the way I want it to, I can add an animation to the graphic. I want the shapes to fade in, one by one. As with other layout options, I can preview animations by holding the pointer to rest over a sample. I also want to advance the animation when I click the mouse. I like that. Okay, there's one more place I want to use a smart art graphic. On this slide, I've already created a bulleted list with information about a new organizational structure for our company. But instead of inserting a smart art graphic and adding text, I can convert this text to a smart art graphic. I select the text box and then on the Home tab, click Convert to Smart Art Graphic. By the way, this command is only available in PowerPoint. 
I choose the organization chart layout. And there's the graphic. That's handy, and it saves me the trouble of retyping the text. Let me wrap up with a few additional tips about SmartArt graphics. Whenever I create a PowerPoint presentation, I click the Design tab and select a theme so all the slides in my presentation have a consistent look. Throughout the presentation, the background and all shape layout colors, including the ones in SmartArt graphics, are automatically updated. But customizations to the graphics, such as the glow effect, are preserved. Here's another tip to keep things looking consistent. If I want to repeat a layout, I can copy and paste it from one slide to another, or from one office application to another. Notice how the graphic picks up the theme of the document that I pasted into? So as you can see, SmartArt Graphics helps me make great-looking presentations and documents that will engage my audience and tell my story more effectively.